So you've got a budget, it's up to 1500 pounds, or I'll put the equivalent in here in dollars and in euros. And you might be thinking, okay, this is getting really difficult to actually find a bag that is that kind of money, that is nice, and that is in a classic style that isn't going to date. It's getting increasingly more difficult, but I've got seven bags I'm going to show you that I think you might like. Hey everyone, welcome to another video. So you've got a budget, as I just mentioned, it's up to £1,500. And maybe you've been looking around to either buy your first bag, or maybe it's your millionth bag and you want to add it to your collection. And you're finding it difficult to find something you love that is for that money. I'm also gonna go through seven of my top tips on how to pick your bag. So even if what I'm showing you, you don't love, these tips will hopefully help you to be able to pick something that's got longevity to it and that isn't gonna to date too badly. Also, the other great thing is that actually, everything I'm showing you costs less than the actual price because I've been given a coupon code by Farfetch that works on everything I'm gonna show you, even my outfit, like the clothes that I'm wearing. I've left the label on these jeans because I, I need to back up and show you them and you can tell me what you think, whether I should keep them or not. I'm kind of leaning towards yes, but I don't, I don't know, you can tell me. But the 10% off works on pretty much most of the stuff on the website. It only lasts for a month. And the great thing about Farfetch, if you're not familiar with it, it's a designer website. The code works for men as well, so men and women. But it's a designer website where the goods on there are actually being sold by independent boutiques globally. So when your items arrive, your items will all arrive packaged very differently. I've even had it before where I've had free gifts put in the box from boutiques and it's the cutest thing. I've, I was given a silk scarf once. I was given one boutique at Christmas, gave me like this little Christmas teddy bear. It was so cute. And it's one thing that I love about it is I know when I'm shopping on there that I'm helping small businesses. So now for these bags. The first one is from Todd's. And Todd's is a brand that I've never shown you before, I've never bought from before, and the only reason why I thought about it is because one of you, Alice, Alice emailed me and we were chatting and you said that you're getting super into Todd's, and you made me think about it. And I was very, very surprised that the 10% off code actually worked on this brand because you can't walk into a Todd's boutique and get 10% off. It was not gonna happen. But to be able to get 10% off, uh, online I was quite surprised about um, and as I mentioned everything is from Farfetch and this is the bag this is a lovely slouchy hobo bag but what I also love is it comes with a removable pouch that's got a zip across the top and it's got the Todd's logo in the zip I'm going to come in and show you the leather and the leather has got a texture to it that feels just like the Chanel caviar leather only it's softer, it's more buttery than that. You can see it's got the logo on the zipper just there. And this I thought would be really good because it's removable. You could put transfer this onto any bag, but also you could keep your keys in here, your phone, your wallet, and then you're not having to rummage around the bag to actually find your stuff. You could even keep your makeup in here if you want like a separate makeup bag. And that is around 1,380 pounds before the discount. That's so much bag for the money. That's one thing I couldn't believe about when I saw it. I thought that's a, you get a lot of bag for that price. Okay, the next, and I've shown you this before and I'm gonna briefly mention this because I have shown it before but I couldn't not show it again. This is a gorgeous bag that to me is a really good dupe for the Hermes Kelly but also the Lorna Traviata bag. This is from Off-White. It comes with a dust bag as does the Todd's bag as well. Everything comes with a dust bag and it's this. The most gorgeous bag is very classic. It's got that classic uh, square shape to it, borderline kind of trapeze, although it is slightly more square. The top handle, to open it, you twist this once and then the bag pops open. It also comes with a crossbody strap. So you can wear this crossbody or on your shoulder. The leather on this bag is incredible. It's so soft. It has got a slight texture to it. I would say the leather on this is very, because I've got the Lorna Traviata, and I would say the leather's actually kind of the same. Next in price, I think this next one is like 695 pounds before the discount. And it's in this lovely box, and it's from Aspinall of London. This, whenever I show you this brand, I get so many of you that have bought it, that love it. If you've been considering, if you've been on the fence, have a think about this brand because you get 
you get very good quality for your money in my opinion every bag i've ever had from there has been really good quality i can already see the color of it and i love it this is again a very neutral color you know how i was mentioning when you pick your bag ideally pick black but you could also pick like a neutral beige if that's something you're into and that's what i thought i would try with this bag this is the mayfair bag in patent leather and again, it's got a pocket on the back. These bags also can be worn crossbody. So to open it, you push this bottom bit in and it pops open like that. And what I love as well is that that faux crocodile is continued through inside the actual bag itself. And then you've got it on, let me show you the inside because the inside of their bags are really good too. So you've got two sections and a zip section in the center. And then you've got your, your crossbody strap as well. And for the money, this is good value. This is probably, because it's leather as well, this is probably one of the best value bags that I'm gonna show you here. How good does that look? It's so chic, it's so classic. Shall I show you it compared to the off-white? That's the size difference there. So they're very similar in terms of shape and size. They're actually really similar, now I look at it. Out of everything I'm going to show you, this is possibly one of my favourites. Although I like everything, this is possibly one of my favourites. This, before the discount, is 995. It's full leather and it's the Alexa bag from Mulberry. This is it. You can get this in so many different colours as well. I wanted to get it in black just to show you like a classic version of it in plain black, but it also comes in a gorgeous pink and it comes in this amazing like green, like pale sagey green color. And I was really torn, but I thought, no, I'm gonna get the black to show you it. One thing I was concerned about with this bag is when I saw these down the front, I thought, oh, they're gonna be so annoying because I'm not going to be opening and closing those every time. But it turns out you don't actually open it with the buckle. These are magnetic. And when you close the bag, it naturally snaps back closed again. So you're not having to fiddle about with it or anything like that. I really love this bag. This is the kind of bag that is deceptive. You can fit more in it than you would actually have thought. Comes with a crossbody strap as well. So it's very versatile the way you can wear it. This I think for me, I think out of all of the bags I'm gonna show you, this will probably be my favorite. And I love the smell of it. It smells amazing, like, just smell, it's got that smell of new school shoes. You know when you used to go back to school and the only good thing about going back in September was that you got a new pair of shoes out of it? That's how it smells, that's what it reminds me of. And before I move on, Mulberry is a very iconic brand, but also the Alexa is an iconic bag, along with the Bayswater as well. And when you're picking your bag, it does help if you can go for an iconic brand and a bag that they have made for a long time and then you're not at so at risk of buying something that dates. The next one is 515 before the discount and it comes again wrapped so nicely. This one I think I showed you it at the beginning it's got like a little card in it that says thank you for your purchase and you know the whole concept behind this is a bit like when Alice contacted me I had another one of you email me about this very bag and I thought, I have never reviewed this bag. I have never tried it. So let's give it a try now. And it is this from Jacquemus. If this is too small for you, you can actually get this in other sizes. And also the coupon code works on all Jacquemus bags. So if you prefer, you know the one that's got the really big handle on the top? If you prefer that, that one is also included. But this I thought was a really cute little bag and perfect for an evening out. If you, or if you don't really carry anything, like if you're someone who uses a wallet on a chain, this is an, a, an affordable option that could work for you. Let's have a look on the inside. Magnetic open enclosure, and then it also comes with a crossbody strap. So again, just talking about those of you who like to run errands, but you don't wanna take anything massive with you. This is the perfect kind of thing. Your phone will fit in there. You can put your, it's got a card section on the back. 
it's one open section on the inside really well priced as well and remember as i've said if you like it but you want it bigger go and have a look because you can get it in a larger size from memory the final two before i finish on the one that's 175 pounds actually it's even less than that because there's 10 percent off i've got a couple of bags here this one's wrapped really nicely as well and i couldn't not mention this i've never shown it to you before but this is the le pliage bag from longchamp very very iconic but also very affordable this is 160 pounds plus the 10 percent off it has got a non-removable crossbody strap. Now, what I like about this, you can get this in a few different sizes. You can get ones that are quite a bit bigger and they'd be really good as luggage, like your carry-on luggage, or if you commute to work and you want something you can fit your laptop in and all of your papers. But because it's made of canvas, these wear really well and they have all leather trim on them. So the flap here is leather. Um, it's got along the top here, which I really like, the logo written just along the top there. But then the grand finale, the one that is 175, might be even better for you. And it comes packaged like this. Wait until you see it. I can't believe this is back in stock. How many of you remember this? This is this cute little top handle straw bag from Longchamp. If you're into a logo, it's got the leaping horse on the front of it. It's got leather trim. It also comes with, so it buttons closed as well, not button, there's like a popper on it. So you can either have it open or closed, but it also comes with a crossbody strap. It's not just a top handle. So it feels quite secure because of that closure on the top. It's lined with canvas. On the outside, this is like a raffia type material. You can also get this. Have a look at this version of it that comes in the pink. I was really torn, but I thought, no, I wanna show you more classic bags, stuff that's, that's black toned. And that's why I saw this and thought, no, I'm gonna show you this again, because this is like really good. But you can get it in other colors if you're into it. And this, as I say, is 175 pounds, and then there's 10% off it. The first thing to think about is the shape of the bag. And I've spoken about this before, but there are certain shapes and styles that are very classic and very timeless and they don't date. So for example, a trapeze shape bag. So a trapeze, great example is the Hermes Kelly, that kind of shape of bag. Very, very classic, very long term. The next shape is the Boston bag. This I feel like can go in and out of fashion. It's always classic, it's always been there dating back to I think the 1920s or 30s. And it does tend to go swing in and out, but it always kind of is there. I would actually say out of all of the shape bags, avoid the Boston bag. I think there are better shapes you can go for, but it's not a bad one to go for. I'm just putting it in there. The next one is the bucket bag. Massively, been around for so long. That is actually a shape of bag that never seems to go out of style. Bucket bag is a really good one to go for. Then you've got things like tote bags bags that have flaps either square or rectangle and these are the shapes that i would best recommend that you consider don't go for things that are quirky shapes where you know i really like heart shaped bags i do but they're quirky they're not long term ask yourself whether you think you're still going to use the bag in five years time i always do this whenever i buy something i look at it and i look at the style of it and I think, how do I think I'm gonna feel about that in five years time? And I have bought bags before where I think I can see myself selling it before five years hits, but actually with most of the bags I buy, they're classic enough, they're simple enough and elegant enough that I think, yeah, I still can see myself using it. Next, consider the color of the bag that you go for. I always think going for black is the best idea you can do. Black pretty much is gonna go with most of your outfits. And also, if you ever choose to sell your bag, black is really good when it comes to being able to sell it. It's a popular color. Make sure it fits your stuff and also consider the brand. Think about the brand. Try and pick a brand that it, you can pick contemporary. I'm gonna show you some contemporary brands in this. They don't have to be from like the top, top layer of brands that you can get. Contemporary are really good. But try and pick something that's got a bit of a heritage behind it, that's been going a little while. And then finally, look at the bag in great detail. Check wear and tear videos on YouTube. 
Will that bag stand the test of time? Is there any rubber piping on the edge of the bag? Does that tend to peel or does it tend to discolour? Go and watch videos about it, educate yourself and do that before you buy something. Because the last thing you want to do is buy something and then six months down the line it's falling apart or it's wearing in a way that you're not very happy with. I think what I'm going to do is when I link to the items below, I'm going to actually put the prices in next to each item so that if you have a budget, you haven't got to click like a million links to get to a bag that sits within your budget. So I will link to everything below. I hope that there's been something interesting in this and that you've either seen a bag you love. Remember that if you don't like any of the bags I've shown, that coupon code works on so much on Farfetch anyway. So your dream bag might actually be included in the 10%. So give it a go. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I've really enjoyed hanging out with you. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one.